In this tutorial, we're going to look at how to create bar charts such as this one, which include error bars to represent standard deviation. In order to do that, I'm going to use some existing data which I've got. The data is from 10 participants performing the forward lunge, reverse lunge and the sung leg squat and the values down here represent maximum knee flexion. You can see that I've already calculated the average and the standard deviation. If you're unsure of how to calculate averages and standard deviations, please look at the tutorials on the blog and you'll see that there is a video which will show you the steps of how to do this. In order to actually plot a bar chart in Excel, First of all, you need to highlight the cells which you want to plot. For the purposes of today, that's the averages. So all I want to do is, using the left key on the mouse, is select the first piece of information, drag across and release on the final piece. Next, you need to then select Insert and Column. So all I've done there is highlighted the values which I'd like to plot, selected Insert and Column. Once you select Column, it will show you on this drop down all the different types that you can use but for the purposes of today's tutorial I'll just be using the clustered columns which is the first one. Okay. Now you'll see, I'm just going to move this out of the way, you'll see that straight away it's created the bar charts for you. What you'll notice is that there are no error bars which I'll show you how to do that now. In order to actually plot error bars you need to ensure that you've selected the actual graph you'll then see that layout appears. If you haven't selected the graph, you'll see that layout's disappeared. So again, select the graph, then layout, and then you can see error bars on the right hand side. There's lots of different options that you can use, but we're going to look at more error bar options. So again, all I've done there is selected the graph, then layout, then error bars, and finally more error bar options. This will bring this pop-up box here. Again, I'm going to move it out the way just so that you can see the numbers on the left. Again, there are lots of different options. The ones that I'm going to be looking at today are plus bars. And all that means is that the bar will appear above the bar chart. And here, it's automatically trying to do a fixed value, which is not what we want. We want to do a custom. And all that custom means is that we can choose the values that we want to include. So again here, we've done plus error bars and custom. And now we want to specify the value. So again, select specify value. Here you'll see that it's asking you to then input the positive error, bar, error values. You don't actually have to type these values in. If you select this button on the right hand side, it will let you highlight them. Now the error bars represent standard deviation. So all you're going to do is highlight the standard deviation values. Once you've done this and the correct ones are highlighted, come back over to here and select the icon. Because we're not using negative error bars, we only need to enter it in the positive error value. Once you've selected this, you'll select OK. So all we've done here was we selected the icon, selected the values that we wanted to plot, selected the icon again and then hit OK. Now if you hit close, you can see that the error bars have appeared on the graph. So what you've got here is simply a bar chart including error bars. What you'll notice is that you've not got any customization. So you've not got any labels down here to indicate which column or bar relates to which condition, nor have you got any titles. So what I'll show you now is how to do some basic customization. First of all, we're going to look at how to label the actual bars. So what you need to do is right click anywhere on the graph and then select data. And again, right click on anywhere on the graph and select data. As this down here relates to a horizontal axis labels, we're going to look at the horizontal category axis labels here. And you can see that it's already it's got one, two and three by default. But we want to change this to represent forward lunge, reverse lunge and single leg squat. So in order to do that, all we do is select Edit. Now again, it wants you to then select the label range or the names that you want to choose. So what you need to do is select this icon here. And now if you highlight the actual names that you'd like to use. And again, select this icon and select OK. 
and you'll see that it's automatically included the, the actual condition names underneath the appropriate bar. Once you've done this, if you select OK, it will just return to the graph. Next, I want to include a title. Now in order to do that, although there will be several ways that you can do it, the easiest way that I find is to select the graph, then come up to the Layout tab, select Chart Title. You'll see here that there are a few different options that you can choose, but I'll be using the above chart today. So again, all I've done is selected the graph, then Layout, Chart Title and Above Chart. Now you can enter any chart title that you wish just by simply clicking on where it says chart title and then the cursor will appear. I'm going to choose the title knee angles drawn rehabilitation exercises. As you can see here it's made the graph smaller so I'm just going to delete this additional space and like you normally would I'm just going to reduce the size of the writing. There we go. You can see it's auto filled the actual size. So here we've got a bar chart with error bars, including the condition names and also a title. Next up we're going to look at how to use or include horizontal titles, um, axis titles that is, and vertical titles. In order to do that, as before, click on the graph, then layout, and then instead of seeing chart title, it'll be axis titles. Here there are different ones, so you've got your horizontal one, and also your vertical one. First of all, I want to look at a horizontal axis. So again, I've clicked on the graph, then layout, axis titles, and then horizontal axis title. Now you can see, like before, if you select on here, you can then edit to put your axis title, which I'm going to call exercises. Once you've finished typing exercises, exercises, if you just then click anywhere on the graph, that will complete that for you. Now to include a vertical axis title, you follow the same process. So select the graph, layout, axis titles, however this time you're going to look at a primary vertical axis title. Now as this is on the side, there are a few different options. I'm going to use a rotated title. So again, you can type on here. As mentioned before, these are knee angles, and that's in degrees. And then once I've finished typing, if I select anywhere on the graph, you'll see that now I've got a vertical axis title, horizontal title, as well as a title as before. Okay, while the, you now have a completed bar chart with error bars, there are lots of handy tips that you can use. While there are loads, I'm only going to include a few. So one of them is that here I'm not using the series because we've already got these identified down here. So because I don't want to use a series, all I want to do is select it and hit the delete button. And then you'll see that this auto fills to make it clearer. Also, you might find that these horizontal lines in the background are actually a little bit distracting. If you don't want them in there, again, if you select them, sorry, select one of the ones in the middle, and then select delete, you'll see that they disappear from the background. If you wish to, you can also change the colour of the bars. In order to do that, all you need to do is using the left hand mouse key is select your bars. Now, if you right click on them, then select Format Data Series. There's lots of different options, but here I'm just going to look at changing the fill, which will change the colour of it. At the moment, it's done it automatically. You can have just a solid fill, which will do it as one colour, which here you can see it's blue. Or you can do it as a gradient fill, which is how I showed you at the very beginning of the tutorial, which is how I'll leave it for today on the gradient fill. So once you hit Close, you'll then be able to see that your graph has changed. So th that's the end of today's tutorial in which I've shown you how to create a bar chart including error bars. Also you've seen how to add the names down here for each condition include also including a title for the whole graph as well as axis titles.